The Holy Tales. Hi! We are Tuffy, Freckles, and Gumbo. We are bookworms and live here in this wonderful library. Tuffy and Freckles are my best friends. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she's awake, that is. As you can see, I'm awake. Nice to see you. Hope you had a nice day. Oh, we did. I ate three whole books today. They were tasty. Mmm, yum. You and food. Dear God. Holy, we want to listen to another story. Will you please tell us one? <laughs> yes, I will. But pay attention at the end as I will ask a question. We will. Promise. Today's story is about Jeremiah. Over time, God chose many men and women to deliver his message to his people. These people were not always the most gifted or rich or intelligent or beautiful. God just chose them because they were good. Sometimes, these men and women did not even want to become prophets because they knew the problems they would face. But God always gave them strength and courage to face these problems. One of these was Jeremiah, a simple man. He came from a family of priests, so when called upon, he was very scared because he knew how difficult his life would be. He said, My lord, I'm scared that I would not know how to speak your words. I'm quite young. Maybe you should choose someone more experienced. God knew he was worried, so he showed Jeremiah a vision of a potter. The potter was making a clay pot, but soon the pot lost its shape. So the potter made it into a ball and started again. This time, it was made perfectly. God said, Jeremiah, my people are like clay in the potter's hand. If they go wrong, I will destroy them. But if they follow my commandments, I will make them good and strong. I have chosen you. So you have nothing to fear. After hearing this, Jeremiah wasn't scared anymore. Children, my question for you is, what did God show Jeremiah when he was scared? I know, I know. God showed him a potter. That is right, Freckles. Very good. Now let me find a story to tell you tomorrow. Bye-bye, children. Hi, Holy. We are back for another story. I can see that. I had a horrible day today. I lost my homework, stubbed my toe, fought with my friend. Well, Freckles, some days can be bad, but tomorrow is another day, right? Now, for today's story, today's story is about Jeremiah in prison. Jeremiah was a chosen one of God. He had warned the people of Israel that the army of Babylon would attack them, but they did not listen. Jeremiah told them to leave the country, but they stayed and fought back. So more trouble happened each time they did not listen to him. The leaders of the city hated Jeremiah because whatever he said came true. They went to the king and tried to turn him against Jeremiah. They said, Jeremiah is a betrayer. You must get rid of him. The king was too scared to go against the leaders of the city or say what he truly felt. He said to them, Do whatever you want. They said to themselves, Jeremiah is a man of God. We cannot kill him. Finally, they decided to put him in a well so he would starve to death. So one evening, they caught him and lowered him into a well. One of the royal servants got to know what the leaders had done. He went to the king and said, Your Highness, the city leaders have put Jeremiah in a well. He will starve to death if he stays there. If that happens, great disaster will fall upon us. He's a man of God, so we have to save him. The king agreed and sent his men to save Jeremiah. The men dropped some rope into the well for Jeremiah to tie around his waist and finally pulled him out. He was saved! He was saved! Yeah! Yes, he was. 
Now I hope you listened carefully, children, because I will ask a question now. Where did the mean leaders of the city leave Jeremiah so he would starve to death? I know, I know, Holy. They lowered him into a well so he would starve to death, correct? Very good, Freckles. That is right. You are a good little bookworm. Bye-bye. Hello, children. Hello, Holy. It's time for you to tell us a story. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, today I shall tell you a story about how God punishes those who do wrong things in the name of God. But before I start with the story, you all know what you have to do, right? Yes, we have to listen to your story very carefully so that we can answer your question at the end of the story. Good. Long, long ago, different prophets had warned the people of Israel about God's punishment. But they completely ignored these warnings and did not change their ways. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the most powerful and strong nation, finally took over Jerusalem. Many people were taken as captives to Babylon. King Zedekiah, who was the last king of Judah, was also taken as captive. The Lord was so angry with the people that he turned away from them. King Zedekiah challenged King Nebuchadnezzar. So King Nebuchadnezzar came with all his army and set up a camp around Jerusalem. They also built walls to attack the city. Jerusalem was under attack for two years. And finally, a time came when the people had nothing left to eat. So the people of Israel broke through the city walls. Although the Babylonians were all around the city, Zedekiah and his soldiers escaped during the night. The Babylonians chased them and captured King Zedekiah and brought him to King Nebuchadnezzar. He was held as a prisoner and both his sons were killed. So God's warning of punishment had come true. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Yes, it is. And God always punishes those who do wrong things. Anyway, so today's question is, who was the last king of Judah? King Zedekiah was the last king of Judah. Yay, I remember. <laughs> yes, you do. Now, may I please go and take my nap? Of course. Bye, Holy. Hello, children. I was just thinking about which story I should tell you today. I hope it's a nice one, Holy. Yes, it is. But you have to pay attention, as at the end of it, I will ask you all a question. Of course we will. We love your stories. All right, then. Today's story is about exile in Babylon. There was a time when the people of Judah forgot the Ten Commandments once again. The prophet Jeremiah warned them that if they did not get back to the commandments, great misery would fall on them. But the people of Judah didn't listen. Soon, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon attacked them. The Babylonian army burned every building, every house to the ground. They raided the temples and took away everything valuable. The people of Judah were made prisoners and taken to Babylon. Among them was a young boy called Daniel. Though Babylon was a beautiful place, the people of Judah were homesick. Often, they would sing songs of Judah and their unhappiness. The people were losing hope, so God called upon his prophets Jeremiah and Ezekiel. He said to them, Tell my people not to lose hope. I am still with them. Tell them to settle down in Babylon and live by my commandments. One day, I will give them back their lands and happiness. The prophets did as they were told. The people of Judah in Babylon had hope once again. Now they knew that God was with them and good days were not too far. God said, One day, I'm going to form a new covenant with my people and forgive them for their mistakes. I feel so bad for these people and I'm glad God decided to forgive them. True. If you have been bad and then repent, 
God always forgives you. Now, my question for you is, which prophet warned the people of Judah that great misery would fall on them if they did not follow the Ten Commandments? Uh, Jeremiah? Yes, that is correct, Tubby. You are a good boy. Now off you go. Bye, Holy! Watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world.